didn't stop me if I was so worth seeking. Know how we get down and how we kick it. Facts, you know the business had some open. Yes, sir. Welcome back to my Southern Opinion. I got to tell you about my first time going to Vegas. First time ever getting on a plane. Let me tell you how it went down. First off, uh, my biggest takeaway from the trip, a lot of walking. I'm going to say that right off the top. It was a lot of walking. The airport is so huge. Oh, man. Well, I first get to the airport, I realize how big it is. Um, first off, we got to drop our car off at one of the terminals. Then get on a bus, ride it to the airport. Uh, it costs your arm and a leg if you want to park at the airport. So park at a terminal, go to the airport, hop on the flight. Um, airport highest giraffe pussy you know what I'm saying everything is, is taxed you get a bottle of water it's high um, Chick-fil-A taxing that's where we had ate at the food was good by the way now we hop on a plane now this is similar to being on a uh, roller coaster or something like that when you take off Cause you on a plane and that mug gotta take off real fast like you gotta it's speeding before it take off in the air so you know maybe you just riding on an uh on the aircraft it's going fast next thing you know that mug take off in the air now you feel it when it take off i ain't gonna say you got the bubble guts but you show sure feel it like a like a roller coaster you know what i'm saying and i'm looking out the window so, um, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't get the bubble guts, like I ain't had to throw up or nothing, but I was feeling kind of queasy, but it went away, thankfully. Um, I made it. Didn't throw up on the plane, first time. Uh, <laughs> congratulations to me, right? So, we make it to Vegas Airport. Vegas Airport, totally different than Dallas Airport. Dallas big as hell. Vegas is big, but it's just way more luxurious. Like it got designer stores inside of the airport. Vegas is just, it's um, it's money consuming. But for the person who has money, oh, you gonna have a ball. Cause you could do whatever you want to. You see what I'm saying? If money's no option to you, then Vegas is uh, a great place. You see what I'm saying? You can do, a lot of things, there's so much stuff to do. The more money you have, the more, you know, the better time you'll have. That's the thing about it. But it's the city of hustlers and scammers. Now, as soon as I hop on the, as soon as I hop off the, the, the airplane, I get in my Uber, I notice there's a lot of weed smoke in the air. Motherfuckers smoking blunts at the airport. I'm thinking to myself, damn. How the fuck y'all smoking blunts at the airport when you was on a plane? Like, fuck y'all had some shit hidden in, in Vegas at the airport or something? The fuck you met somebody at the airport that had the blunt already? What going on here? Anyway, another thing, all the weed in Vegas smell the same for some reason. That's another, that's another thing I'll get back to. But yeah, um, hop in the Uber. The Uber driver, by the way, was phenomenal, man. This dude here was off the chain. Jamaican guy. He had been in Vegas for like 25 years. Something like that. He was from Vegas though. I mean, uh, from Jamaica. But he was cool as hell. He was pointing out all kind of places, telling me about the mob museum, and they about to build a, some kind of uh, the rally motocross uh, racing. It's gonna be huge. Then they got a, a sphere, a big old black ball. It's gonna be a entertainment place. Vegas always got something going on, man. And uh, old boy, they got the, they got some nice restaurants. The food in Vegas is, is on another level. When I tell you the food is art, man, food is, is wonderful. You ask me, the gambling is cool, but food is the best part. You know what I'm saying? Um, the hustle.
hustlers, the scammers on, on the strip. You just see people hustling so hard, man. They hustling like they life depending on it because uh, really that's their job probably. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no job. Their job is to go on the strip and, and holler at tourists and try to get some money out of them. Uh, the Freddy Krueger, Pennywise, them little slick son of bitches, they got me and my old lady. Uh, let me tell you, you go to Vegas, man, you got people trying to snatch photos. And uh, ain't nothing for free in Vegas. So if you take a picture with somebody, best believe they ain't going to try to charge you. My homeboys say, like, the little the little uh, females that got their titties out with the feather on their head. I forgot what they called, but, you know, Moulin Rouge, whatever they called. They be like, hey, you want a picture, daddy? As soon as you take a picture with them, they're going to charge you $30. You see what I'm saying? He like, what? You don't even see it coming. You know what I'm saying? They nice to you, but no, nah, everything come with a jet. And they got prostitutes. They okay. act like you they are. Uh, since she didn't tell you what I'm saying. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Mexico, $20 missing now. Oh, yeah. That's cool. You know? All right. Where you from? Awesome. Make some more fucking tough. Of hustle. Hey, it's all about a hustle, though. It's all about a hustle. Oh, yeah, this is nice here. There's like some real mental, psychological problems with the homeless out there, man. They, they just, I don't know if they lost their money gambling or what. But it's, it's a story, everybody got a story to tell, you know. But it's, uh, them dope fans is, is definitely going through something. Bless they heart. Vegas was a sight to see. And another thing is, shout outs to Mythology Talk. So much mythology in the buildings all around the city of Vegas. You know what I'm saying? And it was, uh, it, it's a wild city because it's, it's a city of sin. Uh, anything kind of goes city. It's a city of everybody go there to let loose. Do what you want to do. Bring you some money do what you want to do. You got to put the kids away and go have you some fun. And I'm going to tell you right now, that slogan, uh, what happens in Vegas stays, that was just so you could spend more money and just go out and just go out a little more. If you was going to hold back with a saying like that, will make you do it. You could be like, shit, I was going to get the room, uh, maybe get a prostitute. you like, nah, never mind, I ain't going to do that. Then you think about it. Well, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Yeah, let me go and do it. You see what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. But, uh... You need you a 24 I pack like of water. Chocolate table over that. there. That's one of the most that important things, man. You're you gonna do a lot of walking. But then again, shoes. I like this over here too. That's one thing. Ooh, I jelly bean. Ooh. But overall, Sour. Vegas is a nice trip. I Ooh, this table myself. right here can get it is, too. Oh my gosh. Ooh. The food. Ooh. 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 The food alone is the reason to go. You know what I'm saying? Then maybe you can Ooh, actually hit two. What we got over you here? Get them, but go God for the food. Damn. Make sure you got you some money ready for that food. Ooh, wee. And wear you some comfortable shoes when you do a lot of Golly. walking. Let me get my ass up out for of here. A lot of walking. Everything. Before I go crazy. I'm going to tell you, some may seem close, but it's far away. Diabetes. One of the biggest takeaways. Let me get out the diabetes, though. Uh, some may seem far away. I mean, close. But it's, but it's far away from you. Stuff seems so close to you. you know, well, you I reached my hotel. Walking, keep walking. And it seemed like it ain't getting no closer. Uh, time seemed like it went by slower in Vegas. Yes, sir. At it first, was, uh, very good trip, I had man. trouble I finding it. the weed. Thank you for listening to me. I had Spend trouble finding the dispensary here. down here. Uh, but I found one. It's my second opinion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.